The building started life in the 1950s as the uh, Mount Roskill Borough Council building. As the years went on, uh, they've added various parts on, including a large uh, section in the 1990s. Uh, the section added in the 1990s uh, had uh, weather tightness issues and uh, though it was attached to a heritage building, uh, we decided that the best thing would be to do to, would be to, to hold on to the heritage aspect, take out the newer part of the building as a deconstruction project and build a great new facility that uh, the community can uh, use and access in the Pukitipapa area. The building that you can see at the rear there is actually uh, de being demolished. The material isn't actually going to landfill, it's actually going somewhere where it's really going to be of benefit. And although the regular contractors have good deconstruction capability, they don't necessarily have those community connections. And so what we've been able to do is marry up the two uh, main contractors, the company called Corball and Greenway, the demolition contractor, with an organisation called Trow and working in partnership with a community group, Earth Action, to allow them to receive the material in a safe way and distribute it out amongst the community where we know that there is uh, so much need for the, for the material. 99% of our stuff is recycled, upcycled stuff. Uh, planters uh, all from pellet wood. We do things from bathtubs to tables made out of old washing machine drums and just whatever we can source and save from going to land waste, we use. This is great. I went yesterday. Joe and I went over there. We tagged all the stuff we wanted. They, they said they'll deliver it today at 10 o'clock or 10.30 and they're here. Around about 40% of all waste to landfill is coming from construction and demolition. But at the same time, we also know there's a big thirst and a big desire and a need to get these sorts of materials out to the community. You can see the roof of the, the ceiling is all rotten. It's not leaking yet. We're trying to do try to replace all the doors and the roof, cutting everything in there. We got the biggest fancy boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we it's too flash, man. Too flash, man. Hey. From a environmental point of view, it's it's excellent news because we have uh, considerably less waste that's going to to landfill. We've had some really good positive employment outcomes. Uh, two gentlemen who were taken on as trainees on the site were given the base requirements you need to work in the building industry. They've gone on to secure full-time jobs with uh, earning the living wage. Um, they've been previously had um, problems with unemployment and also low wages. And so they've gone on now to the living wage and are now building um, new careers in the building industry. Well, it's been great to the fact that we've been able to get the community on board and to reuse as much of the materials from the demolition building as possible. Such things as insulation, lighting and all sorts that's come out of the building. It's been great that it's been moved on and used in the community. And of course we're going to end up with a fantastic heritage building brought back to its former glory.